Hey everyone, welcome back again to this week's video. So as I've seen in my last video, I was like yeah, about some slings and some idioms. And today we're gonna start first with slings. I'm going to teach you the five English slings to learn. They're basically the one like we talked in the last video. We have learned like some of them. And today we're gonna learn others. Five other slings in English. So if you're excited, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's get to this video. Okay, so first slang, lit. When someone say something is lit, like what do they mean in here? I was kind of like scrolling through TikTok. And I found a video saying that this party is going to be lit. And I didn't know the meaning of lit. And when I went to search on Google, I found that it's a slang word. And it's so important because a lot of people use it. So when they say something is lit, it means something is going to be amazing, something is going to be fun, some is something is going to be enjoyable or exciting. And then say this party is lit, it means this party is funny, this party is amazing, this party is enjoyable, it's exciting. There is a lot of things. So when something is lit, it means something is good. This music is lit. It means this music is amazing, it's enjoyable, it's sad. You see? So when something is lit, it's something good, amazing, enjoyable, funny, and everything. So the first thing that is lit, which they use it everywhere, it is when something is amazing, is enjoyable, is exciting and fun. Second link, good. When something is good, what does that mean? So good actually means greatest of all the time. G for greatest, O for off, A for all, and T for time. Greatest for all the time. This video is good. So it means this video is the greatest of all the time. It's amazing, it's just great. So yeah, great. This is great. This house is good. It means it's the greatest of all the time. It's amazing, it's perfect, it's clear. Yeah, this video is good. Which means this video is amazing, it's cool, is great. So yes, second slang, good, which means greatest of all the time. Like for example, this music is good, this car is good, this video is good, this house is good, this shirt is good, all of that. So that's the second slang. So the third slang it is snatched. When they tell you something is snatched, what do they mean? So when they tell you something is snatched, they actually mean that something is good. It looks fashionable, it's very good. You can say this t-shirt is snatched, which means it's cute, it's fashioned, it's fashion, it's fashioned. So yeah, cute when something really looks very good, you can say this house is snatched. It means the house really really good, it's fashion, it's trending. So like the trending thing, I don't know, maybe house is a pro. You can say this house is snatched because it's fashion, it has a clothes, so it means it's snatched. The shirt, the shoes, your shoes are snatched. It means that your shoes are snatched. It means that they look very good, they look very fashionable. So yes, that was the third slang which almost is because also I was scrolling to YouTube and then I found like different YouTubers saying snatched, snatched all over again and I thought this word must be used a lot. So, snatched may always make something really look good, fashionable, yeah, and good. Okay, so the fourth slang word, yeah, the fourth slang word, it is on fleek. When they tell you something is on fleek, what do they mean? So when they tell you like something is on fleek, they actually mean that something is perfectly done. Your hairstyle is on fleek. It means your hairstyle is perfectly done. It's well done. You did it good. And your video is on fleek. So it means it was perfectly done. Um, your clothes are on fleek. It means they are perfectly made. Done. Okay? So 
your let's maybe say what your hair cell is on fleek so when something is on fleek it means something is well done great so on fleek and when something is well done when it's perfectly done when it's good like you did something very nice done okay so the fifth slang word which is literally the last i'm going to give you it is salty when they tell you someone is salty okay so when i heard this one i thought when they say like someone is so salty i think they meant that someone is really juicy is good but no it's actually the positive the opposite when they say something is salty it means someone is angry or sad you can say for example they are salty because they didn't watch their favorite movie so it means they are angry or they are sad because they didn't watch their favorite movie. So that's being salty. It means being angry or being sad at something. Great. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. And as you don't forget to leave a very big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn on those post notifications and also share the video so that people can learn slang words. Because we use them a lot in American English. Today's English it's full of slings and idioms. So probably guess the next video is gonna about be about idioms, words that you can't explain, words that you can't try to say the meaning. So be ready. Bye, see you now in our next lesson.